Hello again, Kevin Ring here. All right, today I'm going to show you on the Barco Event Master toolset how to update or downgrade the firmware, which will resolve your version mismatch issue. And as always, enough of the uh, <laughs> that intro video. Let's uh, let's dive right in. So. I'm connected to a Barco S3 with the Event Master Toolset. Remember, this all works the same. Uh, E2, S3, Image Pro 4K, EX, PDS, 4K. So I have connected successfully, yay. But I'm getting the uh, alert here of a version mismatch. Oh no. So a version mismatch will be caused because of a few different reasons. Um, well, really, there's a mismatch between the software on your computer and the firmware on the actual unit itself. So before we can resolve the issue, we need to see what firmware we are dealing with. So I am running the latest and greatest. I'm on Event Master Toolset 9.1. I will show you where to get that. But let's see where we can see the current version on the unit. Now, one note, this is accessible on the front OLED panel, but we're gonna access it through the software. So we see down in the bottom of the screen, we have the unit ID of the uh, S3, and then here's the version mismatch nomenclature. So I'm gonna click the unit, which is gonna put the contextual adjust tab to show the parameters of the unit itself. So here on the right-hand side, I can see that I have the software version and the OS. The software version, I'm able to upgrade or downgrade as I see fit. The OS, however, can only ever be upgraded. You cannot downgrade an OS. The OS is something that hopefully, knock on wood, you don't have to deal with in the field. If you have to upgrade the OS, you do have to go in sequential order and go through every OS iteration. In the grand scheme of life, I believe only six OSs have ever come out on the Event Master tool set. So those do not get upgraded often. The firmware, however, does. So currently I am on software version 8.2.5613 while my computer is on 9.1. I can check my computer version on the settings tab on the right-hand side. I'm on 9160670653, uh, who knows? <laughs> and then on the front page, I can see on the contextual just tab the software version. So I can upgrade the firmware three different ways. Number one, I can put this on a thumb drive and plug it into the front of the unit. Number two, I can do it through the Event Master tool set. Number three, I can do it through the web app. Number two and three are very similar. So if I go to the settings tab, here I have the actual web app. Now I call it a web app because this is accessible on any web browser. So I'm going to bring in Google Chrome. I'm gonna type in the IP address of my S3. And sure enough, I'm in the same page. So web browser, yay. So I'm gonna do through web browser because why not? So on the left-hand side, I have this dropdown of tools. Here I can do manage software, backup or restore, system log. Manage software is where I can upgrade or downgrade the software. Backup restore is where I can create a backup of my show and then eventually restore it should I need to. Super cool. So I'm gonna manage software and now I'm going to add my software version. So you might say, well, where do I get the software version? You can do it two different ways. We can go to barco.com, go to support. Now you're gonna type in the product. I'm gonna type in E2, now it's all the same, so it's a matter of typing E2 S3, E2 Gen 2, and then we scroll down, and sure enough, drivers and software. Here we have the re-image, the firmware, the OS, and the super bundle. If you don't know what you need, maybe you're gonna go show site tomorrow, Get the super bundle. You'll have the OS, the software, Linux, Apple, Windows, all that good stuff. Now to save a little bit of time, I have already uh, downloaded this. So I'm going to click and go to my downloads folder. And sure enough, here is 9.1. It is compressed into what's called a tar.gz file. So I do need to uncompress it first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to downloads. I'm gonna open this in a new window. And now here is the actual uncompressed version. We see here we have what's called the tar.gz. This is the file that I need, the tar.gz. So I'm gonna to attempt just to drag it here and see if that works, but I might need to uncompress it to my desktop first. Uh, I do need to uncompress it to my desktop first. So not a problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up my downloads, 
I'm going to come here. I'm going to copy and paste this to my desktop. Here we go. Paste. Great. Now I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to find my OS version. Here it is, 9.1, my firmware. And I'm going to upload it. So notice that it shows that the EM update VP 9.1.5610 is ready to go. I'm going to hit upload and the process is going to begin. Now the process is, well, in the grand scheme of life, it's fairly quick. It's going to take about two to three minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pause the video right here and I'm going to put up a fun little graphic. And when it comes back, uh, we will be ready to keep on. Okay, and we are now back. So the uh, E2, or I'm sorry, the S3 has done its update. It is currently rebooting right now, and it back up. Um, so I did obviously pause the video, uh, just so you know, we were offline for about three and a half minutes, so not too shabby. Great, so I'm gonna go to the Event Master Toolset software now. Um, it's up and running. By the way, this does not erase your show, so that's good. Obviously, it does turn your outputs off. You don't wanna do it in show. Um, so let's verify. I select the contextual just tab and sure enough, I'm on a 9.1.5610 and more importantly, the version mismatch error has gone away. Now, some people might argue that you can run a show with the version mismatch error, but we really do recommend that you're matching. Now, of course, the other option was to downgrade my software on my computer, but I definitely do prefer to be on the latest and greatest and the official gold so that is how to upgrade the firmware, by the way, it works for the same for the OS, on the Event Master tool set, uh, and more important, that gets rid of your version mismatch error. So uh, best of luck to you all, happy shows, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.